that we won't get here to react to Miss Green Apple. Still have to react to a lot of things that you guys requested. But for today, I chose two songs because these were the most requested. And the first one was also one of the first suggestions that I ever had. So I'm so sorry if I'm reacting to it just now. So we're going to watch the music video of Alpha Ben. I hope this is how it's pronounced. Then the music video of the original and the studio session live of the original. Okay, the first song. For me, it's really interesting that sometimes they choose words from other languages. And in this case, I think they chose this word because this word is has meaning that we don't have in other languages. First of all, this term was used in philosophy by Hegel. I remember studying it in high school, but I don't have a lot of memories about this. I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> Here it says that this word is contradictory. It both talk about preserving and changing. I wonder why they chose this. I don't have lyrics, so I will react to it without lyrics and then I will read the lyrics. Okay. Yeah, this is from six years ago. I, I was like, this sound was the older sound. Oh. <laughs> I really like it, the piano. I really love the piano. <laughs> I feel nostalgic hearing the older sound. I love the evolution that they had. I just. These drawings are really beautiful. Having these um, poses that are really clear, like we have some clear cuts, is really their style. <laughs> His voice every time. Oh, okay, I was not expecting that to go in this way. Like, I was expecting a little pose and then a, a change, but it's still surprising me. It's really pretty. All these airs with the stars. <laughs> she's going, she's. <laughs> Artistically speaking, they are really a group that has this color that is so bright Even when they're talking about things that are not mm, happy or positive
Okay, in this song, there's nothing I can do. The main character for me is the piano. <laughs> Okay, I need the lyrics because I could appreciate the music a lot, but I want to know the meaning. Okay, I'm reading the lyrics and I see the contra contradictory. It's also a little funny how direct this is. What did you say was fine? Look, a song is coming once again. <laughs> Sentence that I really like it. The world we live in is a distorted, beautiful thing. Yes, it really is. I like it how the song was really fast-paced and how every instrumental part was really... Mm, bubbly in some way even though we still had the dramatic part in the drawings for example like do style of drawings for me it's nostalgic and a little dramatic i don't know why it reminds me of something that is a little melancholic and sad okay now we have floriginal okay this is from one year ago i like the title floriginal it makes me think of something that is blooming constantly let's go Okay. <laughs> this is really interesting. This is really original. <laughs> I also like their style and I like the setting with these things. <laughs> it's like my brain is not understanding. Okay, they gave up on love, okay. <laughs> oh. No, they did not give up on love, they give up on saying it out loud. Why do I like this video so much? These sounds are so cute. The guitar here is really pretty. I don't know, I like how bright this sound. I don't know how to explain this in a different way, but these sounds for me are like a little frog that is discovering the world. <laughs> Okay, 
this was an ad <laughs> what i'm so sorry they really won for this ad like i what <laughs> by telling me that this was an ad because it was really amazing especially the last part was really touching like the lyrics I felt a little moved inside and the last images I really loved that sensation they really made me feel like I was experiencing the scent of nature and I was like hearing the sound of nature like how a plant would play music uh, does it make sense? and then it's an ad well, it's beautiful now. I'm curious about the perfume. I think I would like this scent. I have no idea, but like what they made me feel. They made me feel light, even though this song has a lot of consciousness. One sentence that I felt a lot was, there is not a perfect feeling in this world. Probably you don't feel perfectly happy, you don't feel perfectly in love or sad. I have no idea. But I guess this is what they meant. Okay, now we have this session. I'm really excited for this because here we have a lot of sounds that are quiet. So maybe they're easier to do in the CD version. I wonder how they're going to arrange it. I wonder if they can recreate the same atmosphere. Like, this was really magical. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Okay, this is What's 
Okay, I really like it, this arrangement too. I, I don't know if I'm just reading different translation, like I, I have this subtitle in both of them, but in this, this is the automatic translation from Japanese, so Japanese to English. I'm not sure if it's just a difference in the translation, but in any case, it feels like this is an evolution of the song, of the original song. I really love it how the first version looked like it was created by nature. Like these little sounds made me feel of this, like I said frog, because you know those little frogs that are really little. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should try new metaphors. This version felt a little more human and this, maybe it's because this session felt really intimate, love it, in the studio session, how they used the light in the setting. There was this moment at the end of the song in which he was singing and the instrumental part was really light. In this moment, there were no artificial light. The only light that we could see was the light from the windows. And I really love it, that moment. It felt kind of holy in some way. <laughs> and then, in the end, after the song ends, we have this little light. Okay, now I have to go, guys. I know I still have a lot of things to react to, and also the 20th of August, we're going to have a new song by them. So, we're going to see each other soon, and goodbye! <laughs>